What are you reading? Oh, well, it's a catalog Beaver gave me. Thirty-seven fifty. You're not thinking of getting him one, are you? Oh, no, no, no. He's getting it for himself. For the past several weeks, he's been doing what is known as uh, saving up. Wally went over to Grand Avenue with Eddie and Tui. What's the attraction over there? Well, the city's put in new parking meters, and they went over to watch the people get tickets. <laughs> Beaver go along? No, he and Larry went down to the toy store to look at the bicycles in the window. <laughs> well, I guess looking in windows is almost as much fun as the actual buying. <laughs> You'll never get that bike, Beaver. Sure I will. Someday I'm gonna. You say you're gonna, but I'll bet you're not gonna. Sure I'm gonna. Ah, go on. By the time you save up that much money, you'll be about 40 years old. And you know what people will say? What? They'll say, look at that old man riding the kid's bike. You wait and see, Larry. Well, I'll get it before I'm an old man. I shot 103. My, that's a nice high score. <laughs> yeah. Where are the boys? They're both upstairs. You know, I've been thinking about this bicycle thing with the beaver. That's really a lot of money for a kid to save. So, uh, in order to encourage him, I thought I'd offer to help him out a little. You know, Ward, you're a very nice father. Yeah, I know. Oh, I think saving money gives everyone a feeling of independence, beaver. You know, you can do what you want with it. Like uh, a fella could buy a bike, or a boat, or, or even a bond like this one. What does three and three quarters mean? Well, that's the interest the government pays you when you buy a bond. You mean they pay you for saving your own money? That's exactly what they do, Beaver. Pretty good deal, huh? Yeah. Buying saving stamps and bonds is one real definite way of making sure you have the money to buy what you want when you want it. Okay, let's go. If you take all that money and put it back in your sock, you're just going to dribble it away again. Well, I know. That's why I got Dad to buy me this. Boy, a $50 savings bond. Yeah, and it only cost me $37.50. And it gets to be $50 because they pay me interest money. <laughs> That's interest money. Yeah. Well, that'll give me thinking time to decide what I want to buy. Yeah. You know, Mr. Haller, our economics teacher, is that every time you buy a bond, you're buying a share in America. You mean I own a hunk of the country I can go sit on? <laughs> no, it just means that some of your money's helping them to run the country. Hey, Dad, look what I got! Well, what's that, Beaver? Miss Landers is having stamp day every week in school, and we're all helping out. My job is to pay sis on a hunk of cardboard. Oh, that's fine, Beaver. I'll help you with it after supper. On account of I had experience saving stamps, I'm in charge of seeing that the kids paste them in straight. Well, that's fine, Beaver. I'm going to go up and tell Wally about my new job. Dear, you really think Beaver understands the importance of savings bonds? Well, I don't know if he understands it fully, but I think he understands it in terms he can grasp. You know, bicycles, rowboats, things like that. And he's learning some good savings habits. You know, I think this is a very fine thing for children to be starting in school. Yeah, it's a fine way to teach them that the future doesn't start tomorrow. It starts today.